Hey there, Sabres. We're at the Home Depot, uh, picking out some pine material uh, to rip some more strips for your uh, scaled framing project. And I wanted to go over the four types of wood warp as long as we were here. As I was looking through the piles of wood, uh, I will grade the wood by eye and determine if it can work for what we're doing or not. So let's talk about the four types of wood warp. First of all, this one is a crook from one end to the other it's got a swale in it. If you look down at it like this, it looks like a ski ramp. You can actually see it this way as well. But on its edge, it is not straight. And that can be a difficult board to work with. Doing concrete forming, no way I would ever have this one in my pile. Next one, a bow. That is a board that, that it has a curve on it on its flat edge. So this thing is literally a ski ramp. I don't even know how you would sell this, but that's got a 10 degree curve in it by the end, but a big one by 12 with a big bow in it. So those are uh, crook and bow, those two right there. Crook on edge, bow on the flat. There's actually a little bit of a cup in this one as well. So a cup is a C or it's a curving this way. And I grabbed this board as well to look at that. This is not bad, it would probably be workable. But from one end to the other, can you see the smiley face in it? That is a cup, that's the third type of warp. And the fourth type of warp is twist. And from end to end, from our two flats, can we see that the bottom, the right hand corner here has dropped quite a bit, or if I hold this level, it has a twist to it from one end to the other. So bow, cup, uh, twist, and crook. Those are our four uh, types of wood warp that we wanna look out for. Uh, not to mention, we just want to avoid material that has a lot of encased knots in it. So as we look at some of these pieces, I wouldn't select this piece. This is just trim material. It's not structurally rated. We maybe talk about that later. But I still wouldn't choose wood that's got a lot of encased knots in it. In case, we have to make a cut at that point and join two boards together. Or just generally, that, that material starts to move. You can see how much that knot is pulling on the board and making it crooked as well. Okay, sorry for the videography, did the best I could.